I need a bitch that rock Louis V like me My talent times two like I'm Siamese Put money in my pocket till it rip my jeans I'm cold ice cream, I told my team Ain't nobody fucking with us, that's all Hey guys, how's it going? It's Odar here, and today I'm going to be giving you guys another tutorial. Uh, this time it's going to be how to edit the epilepsy warning on your PlayStation 3. So I'm going to go ahead and open up uh, my PVR program here. Sorry, my bad. I really should have had this ready beforehand. Um, just so you know, I have it like that. Uh, wait for it to load up my PS3. Thank you. All right, so I'm just going to shut it back down. I'm gonna show you guys how to, uh, my epilepsy warning is normal, and uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. Turn the PlayStation back on. Should show up here in a few seconds. All right, it's on my TV, so it should be right here. As you can see, it's the normal epilepsy warning, which uh, obviously everybody has. So um, now what we're going to do, uh, go into multi-man. Uh, just saying, guys, for a lot of my tutorials, you're going to need multi-man, so uh, it's best to install it now. Uh, if you don't know what multi-man is or you don't have it for any reason, just search for the download uh, on... Yeah, just search for the download for whatever firmware you're on on Google. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to, same as in my previous tutorials, we're going to go all the way down in settings, and we're going to go to write access to dev flash. We're going to enable that. Now on our P or PC, I mean, we're going to go back and open up FileZilla. We're going to connect to the PS3. Oh. All right. Now that we're connected, you're going to see a folder called dev underscore blind. Go ahead and go into that. Alright, so here's the thing. Uh, I'm going to put this... Well, actually, obviously, you're watching the tutorial, but I have to paste this because, honestly, I can't remember the path of the file to save my life. So, I'm just going to go into here, paste that. Alright, so this is what we need. We're just going to go to VSH Resource, and we need sysconfig plugin RCO. I'm just going to leave that like that so I can see it. Bring this up here. All right, we're going to go to VSH, resource. Uh, let's go back over. We need the go to S. Right here. This is, no. Yeah, we need this one. This one right here is where you're gonna, what you need. So just drag that to your desktop. All right, so now you can close out of that. Well, I mean, I only had that open because of that. Sorry about that. All right. So uh, now what you're going to want to do is download this right here. I'll have a link to it in the description. It's called RCO Image V1. You're just going to open that up. Open that. Uh, this is uh, this literally shows up for anything that's on. That's why it shows up right here. Publisher unknown. Um, yeah, it, it'll show up for any third party software. So just ignore that. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is dump. You're going to want to have it on the dump tab. You're going to look at the RCO input. You're just going to drag that into the RCO input. Now uh, the XML output, I'm just going to put it on my desktop. And I'm just going to name it um, PS3 just because. Click save. Uh, what? Oh, it's a folder. My bad. Uh, we'll just name it uh, tutorial. All right. Just save it there, and yep, pretty much. And uh, now I'm going to have to look at this because there's things uh, that you need to uncheck. Sorry, I I'm not a master at this, as you can probably tell. Now you're going to un... You're, you're, all right, so separate types and... So you're going to uncheck everything. There's... Oh, okay, all right, I see. All right, I see. All right, so you're just going to uncheck those two and click dump. Give it a few seconds. As you can see, it created all these files on my desktop. It's going to de uh, get rid of some of them. All right, so yeah, I know what to do from here. All right, so what you're going to need to do now is go into the text. Uh, find your uh, 
language in here. Mine is English, obviously. So we're going to edit the we're gonna edit it with notepad just because yeah. Alright, so now once you're in here, uh notepad plus plus is probably the best way to edit this. So yeah, do without what you will. We're just gonna go control F to find. Uh and I'm going to find we're going to find health. Want to find that? Close out of that. Health warning. Now as you can see, this is the epilepsy warning that you see uh well, the health warning, I mean, whenever you start up your PlayStation. So, uh, right here in between these lines is where you're going to edit what you want. So, uh, I I'm just going to make sure real fast that there's no guidelines. It says that it's very easy to soft brick. Um, so I'm not sure what that means. Well, I'm, I'm not sure. It, it's apparently they're not. Honestly, it's no big deal to me if I soft brick. If I do, it's whatever. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and edit this for you guys. Uh, I'm just going to put... Um, Just gonna put something random. Um, there whatever just something basic just so I can show you guys so uh, now that you have it edited to your liking you're going to go up here and press save now we're gonna close out of that and we're gonna head back into the RCO we're gonna hit the compile tab the XML input is I'm um, assuming it's going to be the uh, All right, so what we're going to do is go like this. We're going to head down to text, and it's going to be English. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is what I'm supposed to do if, if, if I'm wrong. I, I'm not wrong. Let's be serious. I'm never wrong. <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, I'm just going to name it syscon.config. All right. We're not going to name it that yet because obviously we still have the backup right here. Um, and by the way, uh, whenever editing files in your dev flash, you always want to make sure that you have a backup. So uh, just make sure you keep uh, the backup of your file that you are editing. So we're just going to... I'm just going to make sure I have this correctly. Oh, okay, I see. Alright, so here is... Alright, I did that wrong, I'm sorry. Like I said, I'm not a master. We're, we're just going to leave the output, go into the XML input, go to desktop, and select tutorial... Well, not tutorial, but whatever you named it in the dump. As you can see, the XML output, I saved it as tutorial. I didn't notice that, I completely forgot about that part. So you're just going to select whatever you named it and wherever you saved it right in the XML input. Then the RCO output, you're just going to put wherever. And I'm pretty sure there's no compression. Um. All right. Um. Oh, okay. All right. So let's see, I was good thing I checked that out. So we're gonna have to do Zlib, and no, uh, we're just going to compile. Give it a few seconds. All right, so now you can minimize that again. Not sure why processing is still there. Anyway, um, now we're just going to put this in a folder called, you know, I'm just gonna make this simple. Oh, oh, apparently it wasn't done. All right, so I guess just wait until that's done. I've, I've, good thing I was creating this folder. Just gonna name PS3 Deflash Files. 
back up because I have a bunch of files that are um, just floating around on my computer and it will be good to have it in one place. All right, so now you're going to rename this and I'm just gonna make sure I have the name right. Yeah, it's just underscore plugin.rco. Rename it. And if you saved it as this, just add underscore plugin and then just leave the dot rco. So now we're gonna head back into FileZilla. We're going to replace the file. All right, now that you've replaced the file, we're gonna go back to the PlayStation. And uh, as I've always told you in previous tutorials, you always wanna disable the access to, the right access to DevFlash. Now we're just going to restart the PS3 and we're hopefully going to see our brand new text, whatever we have it as. So I'm just going to wait for the PS3 to restart here. Alright, so far so good. And there it is. So uh, as you can see, it worked just fine. Um, no soft brick or anything. Uh, you shouldn't experience the soft brick. Uh, so yeah. That's pretty much how you edit your RCO file when it comes to that. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And um, please leave a like rating below. And I, I always do this to myself. Rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. There we go. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow in a new video. Peace.